Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, I'm going to explain how to do the alternate way of doing regrain into the picture. So for example, in this project of Lava Line, I showed you the last time how I did a regrain procedure, and this was done by actually taking a loop of actual film grain and layering it over the entire project using the timeline mode. So as you can see here, if I go to timeline mode in my node graph, you can see here was the external mat that was placed over the area. Okay, in this case, we're going to add film grain using an OpenFX plugin. And more precisely, I'm going to use the OpenFX bundle from Filmworks. Filmworks makes a series of six plugins that can be added into Resolve that will add different tools that you can actually utilize. In this case, I'm going to use the regrain tool inside to add my grain into the entire project. Okay, so what I want to do here now is I just want to reset my entire correction here. Add a node. And then I just take my regrain RGB tool. Drop it in. And then as you can see here, if I zoom in here, it's automatically giving me, as you can see that's without and that's width. And then by changing this, I can change the overall amount if you want to have more or less. So you can just bring it up, you can bring it down, it's just like so forth like here. So something like that. There you go. Come back to here, zoom to fit. We have it for our entire project. And then if we want a little bit less, we can then just drag it down a little bit like so. And then we can just add just a little bit less or a little bit more. This allows us to change the red, green, and blue size. Also sharpness for this. All the parameters can be changed. And then what is very useful is then you can come over to your power grade library and then you can store this in either low, medium, or high settings. So this way all you have to do is take that and drag it into your shot and you're set to go. And so in the comments below we have a link to the um, Filmworks website and thereby you can actually get more information about the plugins. Okay, so for more information about training services, don't forget to have a look in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.